Okay, so in that previous video, we looked at uh, the first method of how we could utilize the vendor, um, you know, folder, uh, and by just tagging on a small file. So we'd still use all of their material. Their material would keep getting updated by them, and we would just add a few little things on top. Uh, but I want to look specifically at how we would completely change this to be our very own. So we're going to delete this useless ROM folder and, uh, and look at method two. So the big thing that we need to do is uh, we need to fork their folder with their vendor file. And uh, so we can just jump over to GitHub real quick and we'll go to lineage there we go just jump over to lineage and we're gonna go vendor and so we have vendor CM or vendor lineage since we're working with the uh, older uh, variant here uh, we're looking at marshmallow so we need the um, CM folder but if you were working with newer versions uh, 15 and up you would need the lineage folder so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to um, fork it. And just like when we forked the manifest before, now we have our own working copy that we can change, we can edit, we can do anything we want with. And the first thing we're going to do is go to settings and we're going to change it from CM to useless ROM. Okay, so we're going to rename that. Now it's Android Vendor Useless ROM. And now we can download this source and we'll have something to play with as well. So let's jump onto our uh, Git Kraken. And we're going to uh, open this up. We're going to clone it. Um, we're going to grab it from GitHub. And we just took. Uh, where did we grab that? Android vendor useless ROM. We're going to put it into our Git playground so we can kind of mess around with it. And we're going to clone that repository. Uh, once again, Git Kraken is a really, really useful tool, uh, especially if you're dealing with multiple forks, multiple branches, that sort of thing. Uh, I mean, if you're a command line wizard, by all means, you're welcome to go there. Uh, I work from the command line a lot. Uh, but I do find that uh, when you're working with a really complicated project, uh, Git Kraken can be very, very, very useful. So I'm going to pause this video while it downloads because uh, I have slow internet and uh, we'll pick it back up when it is done. Great, so we got that downloaded. And uh, of course, we're going to check out 13.0. So we'll just double click on that to check it out, checking out the branch. There we go. And if we now go to our Git Playground, we're going to see our uh, Android vendor useless ROM. So two things that we need to do. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is change our useless ROM Android portion, our default XML, to say uh, instead of downloading, vendor cm we're going to download um, ours from right here so we're going to download this paste it right there and uh, um, well so two thoughts. We can either completely replace theirs, which we're probably going to end up doing, is completely replacing theirs, but there may be other things that slowly tie into theirs. So two ways. You could delete this line entirely, or you could just add yours to it and slowly cut things out of it until you figure out what you do or don't need. And I think we're going to go the second route just in case we need something from there uh, while we're working. So we take this second one, we change that to be our vendor useless ROM, and we're going to change this to be vendor useless ROM. 
Uh, actually, no, we'll go ahead and just delete theirs. We'll just delete theirs and, and you know, we'll work through the errors if they pop up because we need to we need to get switched over to ours. So, we took out CyanogenMod, we put in our useless ROM, we've saved our file. Uh, now, we're going to open that back up in our Git Kraken and we're going to commit those changes. So, hey, here's the change that we've got, which, by the way, you can click on uh, to see the change so you know what the, what the change is. Um, and since I didn't specify a particular branch, it's going to take the branch um, relating to what you're downloading. In this case, CM-13.0 is the default for everything, and we can look at why that is here at the top, that the default revision is going to be CM-13.0. So it's going to grab that by default. We don't have to specify something else. We had to do that with Apollo because it had a different branch name for what we wanted. So uh, as long as you keep that CM-13.0, uh, it's uh, you don't have to specify over and over again uh, what revision you want. So we're going to take this, we're going to uh, stage those changes, we're going to type in here uh, switched to useless ROM vendor files files, there we go helps if I can spell files for vendor useless ROM all right, we're going to commit those changes. Of course, that commit only happened locally. Notice, see the only local. We need to push that. Uh, once again, this is a little bit more advanced course that we're going through here. If you need help with things like working with Git, GitHub, GitLab, that sort of thing, please check out my other videos. Uh, I talk about how to do that uh, very specifically, and hopefully those will be a help to you. So uh, now... Uh, let's go back to our vendor useless ROM. So we're on, on our branch 13.0 and if we go to our um, Git Playground and we look at our Android vendor useless ROM, uh, we're going to have to make a lot of changes in here. So the first thing that we need to do is go through all of these configs and make sure that they don't point specifically to path of vendor CM. So what we're looking for is we're going to control H vendor CM and we're going to replace it with vendor useless useless ROM. Okay, we're going to replace all those we can close and save that. We're going to control H. We're going to replace all. We're going to close. We're going to save that. We're going to control H. We're going to replace those all. We're going to replace them. We're going to close and save that. H, replace all, close, save that, control H, place all, close, save that, control H, replace all, close, save that. I know this is a little bit tedious here, I hope you don't mind, but just part of what we need to do to get this set up. Notice it's in here a lot. Whoops. Vendor CM. There we go. Place all close. Control save. 
save, uh, save. Apparently I haven't been saving all of these. Let me make sure that I've been saving them properly. H, replace all, close, save. Control H, replace all, close, save. Control H, replace all, close, save. Okay, so now we've only done this config folder. We literally need to go through each and every one of these folders to make sure that all of these don't have a path pointing to something like that. The great thing is we should only need the um, uh, make files. So let's see. So let's change our thing here. This is useless ROM and we're just going to say useless vendor tree save okay so we've done quite a few changes let's go ahead and um, commit what we've got here <coughs> up the top you see our work in progress with all of our change files. We're going to stage all those changes. Um, updated to useless in paths. Updated. We're going to commit. We're going to push those commits. So we still have lots more work to do, but we've started the process. So now we have our Android vendor useless ROM folder with the config set up at least. We still need to go through the rest of the folder and change any make files paths to make sure that they are pointing not to CM, but to uh, our, uh, our vendor tree.